So we come to a heat of the Wi-Fi Challenge Cup for Club Fours on the left of your picture, Merck's Rowing Club from Mercantile Rowing Club from Melville in Australia. And they are on the left, and then the very distinctive colours of Multi Boat Club A on the right of your picture. And this is a very, very tight contest. Multi Boat Club could go a long way in this uh, contest, but then the men from Merck's in Australia wouldn't have come over unless they thought they had a good chance of winning. So it's really a bit like the matchup between Shiplake and Westminster, all to play for. It is, it is, and both crews are good technical and a bit of a grudge match, I guess. The, between the, these two big clubs, I'm sure they've raced each other quite a few times in the past. We've got a good shot there, the three man, so back from stroke, he's closest to the stern of the boat, then three man in the Molsey boat, Jens Clausen, who used to be at Hampton School um, as a schoolboy, and knew him well. His uh, uncle got a silver medal for the Danish crew in the uh, 1964 Olympics, I believe, and Jens has been taking a gap year out in Australia, doing some work in Victoria, actually near Geelong, where the Barwon River is kept fit, came back in March and just slotted into this Molsey boat which is being coached by a man you know well, Adrian, uh, Stuart Whitelaw. Yeah, Stuart's just recently started coaching there and help, help him, helping Phil. And um, they're rowing very well, nice and neat. It's still going to be a tight race. I think uh, Merck and Tyler are really sticking close to them. I wouldn't want to call who's ahead right at the moment, to be honest. Yeah, so we're joining this race live and you can see Mercantile from Australia. Very, very successful crew coached I think by David Pincus who is one of the stalwarts of Australian rowing in so many ways and really the hallmark of Australian rowing is just nice fluidity around the back turn don't do anything to upset the run of the boat you can see it in this Merck crew yeah definitely very smooth right they release the boat nice and early and really let the boat run off the finish very cleanly we'll see if that kind of efficiency pays off it's a tight race and the crew's got quite close there but they've separated I was talking to uh, Stuart Whitelaw earlier and, and Phil de Burgundy on the Molsey coach and, and they really like to focus on the front end, just let the, the, the blades breathe at the front end, just pick up the water and they think if you get a good front end right, yeah, just having to adjust the steering, uh, the Molsey crew there, if you get the front end right, the back end will follow, but this is real head-to-head -head stuff. And both crews rowing well, keeping things together. Seems like Molsey just started to get a little bit more run on the boat there suddenly, moving out, maybe they've just had a big push. Lewis Moran, the stroke of the Molsey four, behind him Jens Klaassen, the ex-Hampton schoolboy, then Ben Whitting in the two seat, Sam Tuck, the lightweight GB trialist in the bows, very experienced scholar, just the man you want to have in the bow seat, he's steering the boat, and they have just, well, they've got sort of about, what is it, half a length, two-thirds of a length lead over Mercantile, it, it's really nothing in it at this stage. No, no, both crews sticking at it. Um, Mercantile look like they're having a bit of a rough patch with the rowing, not quite as effective around the front end as they were, but yeah, that's a good view there of the two crews. Still really neat with their blade work if you compare it to some of the previous races. Absolutely, they're rowing at the top of their game. It's a young crew, this Melbourne crew. There we see a shot of uh, Lewis Moran, the Scots, in the stroke of the Multi crew. And Jens Klaassen behind him, and just in the two seats, that's Ben Whitting rowing with the sort of red can't see what it is on his cap. I think from Durham University originally. But Mercantile are really straight in this race and their young stroke man Angus Maloney, just 20 years of age, has really done a job. And I think if anything, the Mercantile are coming through Molsey. Yeah, I wonder whether that push from Molsey to get them ahead would just cost them too much and then Mercantile have just kept themselves together and rode through them. Amazing. Angus Maloney from Brighton Grammar School behind him, really setting up the boat. Callum not in the three seat. Mercantile have just opened up there, and that lovely flow that they had just off the back turn has really helped them. Beautiful rhythm through. Tom Hunt adding the oomph in the two seat. He is uh, a road in the King's Cup Victoria Interstate, the highlight of his rowing career, so he says Andrew Burke in the bows, and Molsey steering has gone to pot. That's Sam Tuck in the bows, probably finding it difficult. The, the boat's not quite synced together. Stuart Whitelord watches on in the uh, launch. The coach of Molsey as Molsey go back on station. That'll cost them. Yeah, it just looks like Mercantile just really put some big strokes in there, and they've, they've just basically killed the race off, and now Molsey are just tired and they just collapsed a little bit and the steering's gone a little bit way wayward 
beautiful rhythm maintained. We saw the beautiful rhythm from both these crews, but Merck's really carried it through. The men from Victoria in Australia. Yeah, really smooth there, aren't they? Really, really efficient with the way they're doing stuff. This would be a real blow to the uh, Surrey club. They thought they came here with high hopes for this y Fold 4. Really thought they could go a long way in the competition. They've been done on the first day. Sydney Rowing Club went out earlier in the y Folds. It's not going to happen to the Victorians, though. They go through, they take this heat of the y Folds from the Surrey Molsey Club. Real, real great race. Road through. The mercantile crew there, you see, fantastic job from the 20-year-old strokeman, Angus Maloney. Congratulations to them.